Here's another practice problem now of just trying to sketch given position versus time what speed and acceleration might look like. In this question, I'm going to throw a ball straight up in the air such that it will eventually turn around and fall right back down and hit me on the head. I'm not going to throw it across the room. I'm going to throw it straight up. So this graph show, shows simply the height of this ball as it goes up in the air and comes back down again. It looks like a parabola, but that's only because it's the horizontal axis is time. And it's not that I'm throwing it across the room. It's just that it, the ball is going up in the air in time and then coming back down in time. And the question asks, could you please graph the acceleration? Well, we haven't said, we, we don't have a graph of acceleration here. We have a graph of only of position. But we know that acceleration is the change in velocity over time. So we first should look at velocity. Remember that velocity is a change in position over time or at an instantaneous level is the derivative of position with respect to time. And the derivative is signified graphically by the slope of a tangent line to this graph. So let's draw some tangent lines. I'm going to pick some times here to show on this graph. And there's one time which is going to be particularly convenient for us to look at, and that is right here at the top of the arc. That's because the tangent line here is roughly horizontal. In other words, the slope of that tangent line is zero, and the velocity, therefore, at that time should be zero. Over here, the, the tangent line might look something like this. So it's got a slope that's very uh, large and it's positive. And as I move along in time, I still see tangent lines that are sloped upward, but less so every time. So what's happening is the velocity is trending down until it gets to zero right there. And then, of course, at other times, this velocity is now becoming more and more tilted here. The slopes are becoming more and more tilted. But notice that they are negative slopes. They drop down in time for each one of these. So, in fact, the velocity keeps trending down like this. It's a positive velocity here. It's a negative velocity here. Positive velocity means that the, the object keeps moving in the positive y direction. Negative velocity means it's moving in the negative y direction, which is more or less what we have graphed there. So this is a way of getting the velocity curve from the position versus time. Now what does that have to do with acceleration? Well, remember that acceleration is the change in velocity over time, which, of course, at the instantaneous level, is a derivative, dv dt. If I were to graph the acceleration, this being time, this being acceleration, This would work out to be just a negative number, and it would be a constant. It would look something like that. How do I know that? Because at any point along this velocity curve, I can pick a time interval. Here's a delta v. Here's a delta t. Delta v is negative. It's, the velocity is dropping all the time for every delta t. So if this is negative and that's positive, then the acceleration is negative. And since this is a straight line graph, as I've sketched it, the acceleration is the same everywhere along at different times. So this is another example of seeing a negative acceleration and its consequences. When the acceleration is negative and the object is heading north, or heading up, then the this, this velocity is slowing down. When the velocity is negative and the acceleration is negative, now the object is speeding up. So it's as if the acceleration and the velocity can work together to make the velocity speed up or they can work against against one another. If the velocity has the opposite sign as acceleration, then the object will slow down, which is more or less what we see in that graph of position versus time.